Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to World of Warships, where Akazuki and I... Yes, that's you. <laughs> uh, ...have something that hopefully you're going to find entertaining. Yes, Akazuki, it's HMS Repulse. I know, yeah, it's a very famous ship. What do you think of it? Oh, you like it? Actually, he knows what she's talking about. The Repulse is a very, very good ship. HMS Repulse was one of two renowned class battle cruisers built for the Royal Navy during World War I. Originally laid down as improved versions of the Revenge class battleships, but they were never completed because they weren't going to be ready in time for the war. At which point Admiral Fisher stepped in and said, look, just finish them as battle cruisers. Don't worry about all the armour. And they were completed shortly after the Battle of Jutland. When they entered service, they were the fastest capital ships in the world, and that's kind of true here in World of Warships as well. They only saw service, active service, during World War I at the Battle of Heligoland Bight. Between the wars, there were improvements made, and then in World War II, in 1941, she was sent, along with the HMS Prince of Wales, to form Force Z in the Pacific. The idea was that the Empire of Japan wouldn't dare threaten British interests in the Far East with such a powerful force of battle cruisers at Britain's disposal. And then on the 10th of December 1941, both ships were sunk, along with their escorts, by Japanese aircraft, when they attempted to intercept Japanese landings in British Malaya without the benefit of air cover. So, this video is going up the day after the latest World of Warships patch on the EU server. Obviously this video was recorded yesterday, the day the patch went live. So in order to unlock the Repulse, you have to have already completed the first 18 stages of the dockyard construction process that leads to HMS Marlborough. Which, by the way, you should avoid, like the plague, because it's a tier 9 battleship with tier 5 guns and it's utterly terrible. However, if you complete the first 18 stages of the dockyard, you unlock the Repulse. And the repulse is pretty impressive, although not without its weaknesses. Although the fact that C4900RR Sniper here has already unlocked the repulse on the day of the patch means that somebody's been throwing money at wargaming, haven't they? Whatever, it is money. He can do what he likes with it. Personally, I'm going to wait until the Santa crates become available, and then after knocking the snowflakes off my 44 tier 10 ships, I'm going to see what I can get for the gift certificates because I do definitely want this ship. And not just because it's HMS Repulse, but because it's really good. Although not without vulnerabilities, which is as it should be. So what's good about the Repulse? Well, don't forget that when this and its sister ship, HMS Renown, were commissioned, they were the fastest capital ships in the world. And unmodified, the Repulse can reach a top speed of 31.7 knots making her the fastest battleship at her tier. In fact, there are not many tier 7 or 8 battleships that will go faster than this thing. Plus, she also gets an engine boost. There's nothing special or fancy about the engine boost, it's your regular 8% engine boost. But, if you were to go to the armory and spend some coal, and Sniper has, on the second equipment slot modification for the engine boost, you can make the Repulsor's engine boost last not far short of four minutes. And since he also has the Swift in Silence skill, which makes your ship 10% faster as long as nobody's spotted you, and she only has a surface detection range of 12.6 kilometers, this ship, at full speed, with the engine boost running, and a speed flag, and the Swift in Silence skill active, almost reaches 40 knots. That's pretty impressive for a battleship that isn't French. Or the USS Georgia. Then there are the guns. She does only have six of them, so that's not great. But if you're thinking, those turrets look awfully familiar, yeah, they are the same 381mm or 15-inch gun turrets that you find on HMS Warspite and HMS Queen Elizabeth. And while the Warspite is renowned at Tier 6 for the accuracy of its main battery guns, it can't even hold a candle to how accurate the Repulse is with the same guns in the same turrets. Because the Repulse is a battle cruiser, which means it sits in the battleship line, but it gets cruiser accuracy. 
so it does not suffer from the same problems as other battleships, and yeah, principally I'm looking at you here, Geniser now, that also only have six gun barrels. Coupled with terrible battleship accuracy. Geniser now captains know exactly what I'm talking about here, because it really, really hurts to line up all six of your guns, fire and hit nothing. And that very rarely happens in the repulse, because these guns have cruiser accuracy. And because they're 15 inch or 381 millimeter in calibre guns, that means that they have enough overmatch to punch clean through the bows regardless of angle of every cruiser and almost every battleship they're ever going to face. And yes, yes, I realise that this is also true of the Geniser now, it also has 15 inch guns. But in order for that sort of shit to work on the Geniser now, you first have to actually hit the bows of every cruiser and most of the battleships that you're ever going to face. So straight away you can see the difference because the Repulse with its cruiser accuracy can do that. Hang on a second. What does this guy think he's doing? Really? You couldn't just stay at the other end of the channel and fire torpedoes? Oh well. It's your funeral. <laughs> And that is what the Repulse do. But where's the downside, Jingles? Well, there is a downside. It's a battle cruiser, not a battleship. And it doesn't achieve that 31.7 knot unmodified top speed by carrying a lot of armour around. So, yeah, let's talk about the armour. It's bad, but it's not as bad as it might first appear. You see, the Repulse has a 152mm belt, and there are cruisers that have 152mm belts. She also has a 38mm upper belt, and while those numbers are far from impressive, it does mean that if angled, and lucky, she can tank even 18-inch armour-piercing shells that hit her belt. But it's the shots that don't hit her belt that are going to get her into trouble, because her bow and stern armour unlike a battleship at tier 6, is only 16mm thick. We're talking destroyer levels of bow and stern plating here. The thing is, while that is definitely far from good, and it really isn't because it means every battleship that she's going to face, even the Sean Horse with its 283mm guns, is going to be able to overmatch her bow and stern plating. But the Sean Horse is a kind of a special case. There aren't a lot of battleships around there with 283mm guns. Most of the guns that you're facing are either going to be 14 or 15 inch. And with 16mm of plating, yes, the 14 inch guns are going to be able to overmatch your bows as well. But the 15 inch guns are going to be able to overmatch your bows whether you have 16 or 25mm of bow plating. So while this is not good, it's not really that big of a deal since you can pretty much expect to have most of the battleships that you're facing, like the Mutsu over here that has 16 inch guns, to be able to cut through your bows like a hot knife through butter anyway. So yes, the Repulse is a badly armoured ship by battleship standards, and you will need to be aware of that and play accordingly. It's not an especially well armoured, and in some cases it's actually a very badly armoured ship by cruiser standards, but it has at least enough armour that it's only the battleships that it really has to worry about. It can't be overmatched by heavy cruisers or below. There's an unfortunate torpedo there. Oh, enemy Hatsuharu. Also, enemy carrier. Actually, speaking of the carrier, this is also a valid point. The Repulsor's AA isn't very good, which is probably quite appropriate for a ship that was sunk by Japanese aircraft. The rudder shift isn't great either, it's definitely a battleship standard rudder shift, I think 14.2 seconds. And it could benefit from the uh, rudder upgrade module. But the speed... The Hatsuharu was smoked up so nobody's spotting him, swift and silent skill is active. The... look at... there's still more than three minutes remaining on the engine boost. Look at the speed that he gets up to here. Akazuki, how fast do you think he's going to get? Do you reckon he's going to go faster than 38? I hate to break it to you. He is. <laughs> I think he ends up topping out at 38.7 knots. The question here, of course, is, is the Hatsu... I 
I realise you have a soft spot for Japanese destroyers, Akazuki, but please. Is the Hatsuharu dumb enough to have stayed inside that smokescreen? Are they still sitting in there waiting for their torpedoes to reload? Because they were shooting from that smokescreen not that long ago, but I haven't seen any more shots since. So, oh look, more torpedoes. torpedoes now remember, the assured detectability range, which means it doesn't matter whether you're in smoke or on the other side of an island or whatever, you're going to get spotted. It's two kilometres, and he's not two kilometres from that smoke screen yet, although it is starting to dissipate, which would suggest that the Hatsuharu launched the torpedoes and then booked it out of there. In fact, yep, there he is. So that was actually quite a smart move from the Hatsuharu. And I think it's only the aircraft that have spotted him. But I don't think the Hatsuharu took into account just how fast the repulse is. Although, why would he? This is the first time anyone's seen this ship. And he takes a dose of semi-armor piercing there. And very narrowly avoids getting hit by these 15-inch high explosive shells. Sniper switching back to the armor piercing since he's got battleships and cruisers to deal with. And the Hatsuharu has gotten away, but is still reloading its torpedoes and won't be a threat for at least another minute. Sniper's actually in the process of capping here. Well, this is a standard battle, it's not domination, there are only the two bases. So he's going to want to stay inside this cap circle and not go chasing after the Hatsuharu. Oh dear. Let's see what happens to a repulse when it's caught given a flat broadside that's, well, any kind of range. That's right, Akazuki. <laughs> very, very bad thing. The carrier's coming back. Seems to be the only ship on the enemy team who's really trying to do anything about the fact that the cap is in fact being flipped. Although maybe the New Mexico is going to try and do something about it. A battleship with 14-inch guns. Not particularly large calibre. But, well, big enough to overmatch the Repulse's 16mm of plating. But then again, the Repulse's 15-inch guns are big enough to overmatch the plating of just about every battleship it's going to face. So it's... It's not great armour. 16mm is definitely not good. But it is something of a level playing field. The Repulse is definitely going to suffer if it ever becomes the victim of focus fire. And it's going to absolutely eat up high explosive shells like nobody's business. But... To counter that, it does have the speed and very good concealment. Sniper's managed to get it down to 12.6 kilometers, and that, of course, is without the benefit of the Tier 8 concealment mod. So that if you do find yourself in a tricky situation, and oh lordy, that New Mexico is just asking for it now, isn't it? But you've got the stealth and you've got the speed to disengage from any kind of situation that you don't like. That does, however, come with one fairly significant but. And that is, the map has to be big enough for you to get out of spotting range quickly and disengage. And since this is a tier 6 battleship, that is not always going to be the case. The bigger maps tend to be reserved for tiers 8, 9 and 10. So that's something that you're going to need to take into consideration. Having said that though, there is so much about this ship to like. Even if it just had the cruiser accuracy on these 15-inch guns. That alone, I think, would be worth the entrance price. But it has more than that. It's got destroyer levels of speed when it needs to as well. So, yeah, I really like this ship. And I'm pretty sure, after this, his first game in it, uh, Sniper does too. So that, kids, is HMS Repulse. Akazuki likes it. I like it. And it's currently only available by completing the first 18 stages of the current dockyard construction project that leads to the Tier 9 British battleship HMS Marlborough, which is an utter turd because it's a Tier 9 battleship armed with Tier 5 guns, and it might have a lot of them, but they all suck, and you should definitely avoid getting the Marlborough. But if you do happen to be sitting there with a huge amount of gold and nothing better to do with it, or you've knocked the snowflakes off all of your tier 10 ships and you get lucky with the gift certificates when you trade them in for Santa crates and you get enough gold using that to complete the first 18 stages and getting your hands on this ship is definitely something you might want to consider because it's really good 
anyway, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you to Sniper for sending it in. Congratulations on the result. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.